There is no shortage of gold in the kingdom. There is no shortage of silver. There is no shortage of money. There is no shortage of health, wealth, riches, peace, joy. All of it is in the kingdom of God. Come into the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added. We are kings and we walk about in the spirit of the king of kings. See, I'm a king, but I'm inside of the king of kings. When you honor me, you honor God, the king of kings, and you honor me as a king. Hallelujah. So that means you, God shall bless you. Mm. God shall really multiply back into your life. We are in charge here on earth because we're kings. We are over the earth, the animals, the materials, the resources of the earth. We have command over all angels and command over all evil spirits. We have command over all evil spirits. We rule the atmosphere. Hallelujah. The prince and power of the air, we rule him. We have rulership over the prison power of the air and the weather. That's all true. I'm just going to give you the word of God. Just like Jesus changed the weather when, when the storm was out there and he spoke peace. We have that authority to change the weather. People out there talking about it's hot, it's so hot, it's so hot. People going around, it's so hot, it's so hot. And you know what? It's been hot. Apostle, why, why have it been so hot? Is it because of, of some kind of front? Uh, is, is it because of the, the what they call it global warming is it, 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 because of people's mouths they're going around saying it's so hot so hot so hot and you know what they have, they're having what they say it is hot what they say mm -hmm. I hear it. it's so hot I have even agree with them I, even, well, I was in the post office just see what somebody recognized what I'm saying I said you know people saying it's hot they say it's so hot it's so hot the lady that you know the tenant that would listen to me she said, I said, yeah, they said it's so hot. She said, yeah, yeah, it's hot. I said, you know what? It, it's hot. She said, yeah, it's hot. And I left. Mm. What did that accomplish? It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Okay. Okay, now, uh, we rule the atmosphere, the prince, the power of the air, and the weather. Job, now, we, we already know the king. Job 22, 20, say, thou shall also decree a thing. That's what the king do. He makes a decree. You don't ask people to vote on what he won't do. He, he gives an order. He, when you speak, you issue a decree. And it shall be established. Proverbs 16.1 says, And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord, because he's the King of kings, the Lord of lords. So when I speak, God has spoken. It's just the word of God. As a Christian, I'm in the King of kings. And he's in me, and I, I'm in the spirit of the Lord. You are a Lord, and you walk in the spirit of the Lord of lords. The Lord of Lords have spoken when you have spoken His word. Every time you say what God said, God has said it. Yeah, did you hear me? If you say what God said 10,000 times a day, God has said what He said. Oh, yeah, God has said it. Okay, coming down to the conclusion. You know, this is so good. I can stay in the word all day and all night. I can teach the word. I can do this all day. I just need to stop and get a little water or something. <laughs> uh, because I, I love the Word of God and I need it. You know, some people go to church and they, the time they walk in the door, they get looking at their watch. Their watch, you know. And they need to stay in there, really. They do. They need to stay in there until they get their mind renewed. Huh? That's, what you need is the, is the Word of God. Some people can, they can go to the movies and sit in there. Don't, don't, don't. And when the movie's over, they don't say, oh, Honey, that thing, that movie was three and a half hours long. What was that long? I mean, you know, I, I, we, we all not spend our time like that. But they come to church. How long have we been here? Mm -hmm. Then the, the wife said, About ten minutes. Wow, oh, man, this is going to be a long service. <laughs> Got a little time for the Word of God, Nick. And we need it. Life is in this. Uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 17 says, Much more they which receive abundance of grace, that's us, and of the gift of righteousness, we are righteous, shall reign because we're king. In life by one, Jesus Christ, because he's king of kings. Hallelujah. He gave us his name, his authority, his spirit, his, this is his blood. Thou madest him, talking about me, talking about mankind, thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. God put us in charge of Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Pluto and all them other planets that, that, that a man is finally uh, seeing. They're coming into the sight of man. Man, 
the universe expanding. God has put us in charge of all of those things. The work of his hands. And what the word of God say. And of course the earth. Uh, thou hast put all things under his feet. Your back is in your charge. Your back is in is uh your back. You have dominion over your back. If you say your back is hurting you, and it can be hurt, but if you, even if it's hurting it before you say it, you probably have the curse to cause it shall not come. You didn't have a thought of it. You didn't say it in some way. I, I believe my, I believe my back. When I get a certain age, I'm going to have back trouble. Say that when you're 16. The curse cause it shall not come. You didn't open the door. Let's say that all the curses are outside. I said, they ain't gonna just, huh? There's a reason for it coming. You gotta initiate it. It's not just gonna just tell the door down to go. You say something and open the door. Now, when the curse come in, don't mean you go around telling everybody you got it. What you do when you want to get rid of the curse, Brother John? I'll tell you what, I'm asking Brother Fred. Man. What do you do when you want to get rid of the curse? Curse, not curse, sickness, and disease, not having enough money. All things that are not, not as though they are. Well, you give us there's some people that will that's true, but they break it down so people can. If understand. you're sick, you say, I am here. Oh, okay. If now, you if you're hungry, say I'm full. Okay, well now, uh shouldn't we all uh, give us a scripture with that too? To let the people know it's the word of God. To let them know the word of God uh, scripture don't come to mind right now. Romans chapter 4, verse 17. I believe that's it. That's the scripture you use. God's name would be not as though they were. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to give. That's what Abraham did. Right. Even God who quickened the dead and called those things uh, which be not as though they were. Right. This one, uh, Romans 4, 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed. Even God who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as though they were. That's your scripture there. Now, hallelujah. We're coming to a conclusion. Your back is under your authority. Your stomach is under your authority. Your mind is under your authority. What, well, Apostle, what do you mean by that? The doctor told me I got a bad mind. And I've been taking medication for 15 years for my bad mind, and it ain't been working away. Well. What do you mean I got authority? You got authority to keep a bad mind? Or you have the authority to take hold of a sound mind. That's what God said. Yeah. He put your mind in your hand. He put all things under his feet. Put man in charge. He put you in charge of your own mind. 